Across Africa, farmers grow cereals to feed their families and make money from selling surplus produce. As an important food crop in Kenya, maize is enjoyed boiled, roasted, fried or milled into flour. Maize is considered ideal for fodder because it grows quickly, produces high yields and is rich in nutrients. However, growth of maize continues to be hampered by poor soils. The parasitic striger weeds and pests such as stem borer and fall armyworm. Stem borers and fall armyworms can damage and cause complete yield loss if not controlled. Fall amium is a caterpillar that feeds on the leaves of many plants, thus affecting their growth. Efforts to control the fall amium through the use of pesticide has mainly failed because this caterpillar has developed resistance to most of the insecticides. But when farmers spray chemical pesticides, many of the beneficial insects are killed. Farmers have many friends such as ants, wasps and ladybird beetles who can help control the population of the armyworms in the maize field. With the rapidly growing population, farmers no longer leave the land fallow and grow crops on the same land year after year. Under such continuous use, soil fertility declines thus favoring the development of parasitic weeds like striga. Striger causes greatest damage in poor soils where fields are continuously grown with only a cereal crop. It attaches to the shoots of crops and sucks its water and nutrients, hindering normal crop development. For centuries, Kenyan farmers have grown multiple crops in the same field to reduce risk and to produce food and fodder. The problems of soil fertility, striga, stem borer and fall armyworms can all be managed together by intercropping maize with Desimodium legume and planting napier round the intercrop as a border crop. <laughs> Lulisa <laughs> Now that we know how push-pull works to increase our maize yield and we have decided to start using this system, how exactly do we set up a push-pull plot? Uh, number Ishkukulesh 
Ogula kuma tu makao. Nigo nisho shindu shiokulanga ngambu. Ogula shina ogu ogu sindeka. Nela ano desmudi amil irinende 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 findo flani fiere kuru ngamu mukunda muriya. Ifuku kule fia fia ria ukura arufi yayo. Nela ano malanga fi fi rushira wa ulusiruri nero wa kule aria ulusiru malanga ukula shina uire ifuku kule fia. Ika si pia kupima kunda kuhusikuno kwa kuhusikuma inde kwa lashina. In this video, we will join Kenyan farmers setting up a push pull plot. When establishing a push pull plot for the first time, make sure you have certified maize and decimodium seeds. You will also need napier or brachyria grass, either as root splits or cans that you will plant later. Your napier grass should not be diseased. If the leaves are yellowish and very narrow, don't use it. It could be affected by the napier stunt disease. Make sure to also have pegs and ropes for measuring the plot as well as your usual farming tools such as a machete, a hoe or jembe. It is important to have farmyard manure. Organic matter helps to manage striga and improve soil fertility at the same time. The first step in setting up a push-pull plot is land preparation. First, Clear your land by plowing just before the rains start. Then harrow the land until no large lumps remain. Decimodium seeds are very small and do best in fine and clean soil. When your land is cleared, use pegs and rope to measure your push-pull plot. In this example, our plot is a square with a length of 30 meter by 30 meter. When preparing your plot, it is important to keep in mind that your field should not be bigger than 50 by 50 meter and not smaller than 21 by 21 meter. Otherwise, the nepigras may have a shedding effect on your maize. First, dig holes alongside the three outer lines in which you will plant your nepigras. Make sure the spacing between the holes is 75 centimeters. When planting, apply two handfuls of manure in each planting hole. Plant nappy cuttings with three nodes, covering two nodes with the soil and all can facing the same direction. Place the cuttings in a slanting position like this. When using root splits, simply place them upright in the hole and cover the lower part. <laughs> Our plot is now surrounded by three complete rows of nepigras on each side. Now we plant decimodium. Between the rows keep a spacing of 75 centimeters. For our 30 meter by 30 meter plot, mix 300 grams of decimodium seeds with fine sand in a ratio of one part decimodium to three parts sand. <laughs> then drill narrow rows using a stick and sow the mixture. Decimodium should be planted in between the maize and should be in the first and the last row. After that, we plant the maize between the decimodium rows. 
While planting the maize, keep 30 cm between the holes. Your setup push pull plot should look like this alternating rows of maize and desimodium. Now, let's look at what we have learned. Poor soil increases the effects of striga and reduces the yield of cereal crops. When you spray chemical pesticides to control pests such as stem borers and fall armyworms, many of the beneficial insects are also killed. Push-pull system can help attract more beneficial insects to your field, improve the soil fertility, suppress striga, and control both fall armyworms and stem borers. Start by planting healthy nepigras as a border on the outer sides of the plot in three rows. Inside the plot, plant rows of desimodium. After that, we plant maize between the desimodium rows. By using the push-pull method, you will attract many farmer-friendly insects in your field, restore your soil fertility, and manage pests in your farm. With the increased yields, your family will have more food to eat and you will make more money by selling healthy maize in the market.